What is up my beautiful Marmars and welcome back to my kitchen today I have with me the Burger King Cheetos chicken fries, okay, but you know me. I can't just have normal Cheetos I gotta DIY these bad boys into hot Cheeto chicken fries get to it All right the first step you want to put the hot Cheetos in the blender and then you want to Just blend them up blend those bad boys up and get them all nice and blended and ready You guys know I'm a chef so you know as a rule you're not supposed to season the food you get at a restaurant without tasting it first because you don't even know what it's missing. So I'm gonna try these chicken Cheeto fries right now and see how great they taste. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're pretty good. It's so gross. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're not bad, you know. They're they're not bad at all. Um, but you know, we can make it better with hot Cheetos! Woo! You can either just throw them in like this, you know, because hot Cheetos is great. They, they stick to things already. Just throw them in like this, and you want to just shake them up. It's one method, you just shake them up real good, and then you can see that there's some on there, right? But it's not like fully encapsulating the Cheeto, right? And so, I'm gonna enlist the duty of a secret weapon. I've taught you guys how to make before. You needed a cup and some lime. You're gonna roll your lime, cut them up, and then squeeze it into a cup just like this. Any cup works. Go ahead and get one of these spray bottles from any department store, and just pour your lime juice into the spray bottle, and just make sure it's completely full. Don't forget to spin on that cap. And now you want to take out the Cheeto fries and just lay them out right there, you know? Take out the spray bottle right there, lime it up, lime spray, lime spray, lime spray, just so it can get some moisture so then the hot Cheetos can adhere to them when you shake it up. Woo! Shake it! So hard! It turns into a cinematic! Hey man, what's up? I'm a chicken. Or a Cheeto. Or I thought the Cheeto thing was supposed to be a cat. I don't know, but I look like a chicken. Hey. Oh, I get it, because chicken fries. Ha! I'm slow. Lime, I love using with hot Cheetos. I learned this from my classmates back in, back when I was in elementary school, one of my friends did this. His mom used to pack a lime with him and then he would sprinkle that on his Cheetos. So I've continued that tradition onto a lot of the Cheeto things I make here. I wanted to keep this recipe super simple so you guys at home could try it too. But if you guys get this to 100,000 likes, I will make my very own hot Cheeto chicken fry recipe from scratch for you. Tell me that you want it just by liking, subscribing. Thank you guys so much. Now it's time to do the taste test. Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna pick the spicy looking one right here. Mm -hmm. Smells very hot Cheeto-y. Looks very hot Cheeto-y. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Just kidding. I'm so excited to try this, guys. When I saw this, I was like, I have to make a hot Cheetos DIY. Let's do this. Yes! It's so good! Oh! The hot Cheetos is like so tasty. Oh my goodness, I like it a lot. You guys can try this. You can. It's so easy to do it at home. And, and put some, you know, some of your Cheeto crumbs right on it. And bam! You're done. You got a delicious snack. Then you can go do your homework. That's what I would do at least. Mm. Mm. Wow, that is so tasty and it's so quick and easy to do. I love really easy, awesome, fun DIYs for you guys to make because I know a lot of you guys you know, don't have all the materials I do, so I thought I'd keep it really simple and I'm so happy I did. Let me know what you guys think if you try it at home. Um, there's also so many sauces you can make to dip these with. Like These are so tasty and I just love putting hot Cheetos on everything. Must put more hot Cheetos on everything. Mm. I like just the crispiness of the chicken and then there's like hot Cheetos on the outer layer and it's like limey. It's like, mm, it's my dream. I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Mm. Thank you to all my beautiful Marmars and all the viewers back at home watching this right now. I appreciate you guys so much. If you want to become a Marmar, hit that subscribe button down below and you can be a part of this family also. Everyone is welcome and everyone is so nice in the comments. Like, it's such a wonderful community. I love everyone in the Marmar community. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. As always, because I always post a new video at 12 p.m. I'll never not be there unless my computer fails me or YouTube fails me. Besides that, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace!
What is up, my beautiful Marmars, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna make something I can eat. I, I think I can eat it. I'm not entirely sure if we can eat it or not, but yeah, yeah, I think I can eat it. Let's, yeah. We're gonna make marshmallow slime. Yeah, all right, let's get to it. First, you're gonna start off by heating up your pan. Then, you're gonna get some coconut oil, and then 